Did you know that <clears throat> Christmas is the only Christian holy day that is also a major secular holiday, perhaps the largest holiday in our culture? You realize that. That's why stores have been playing Christmas music for weeks now. <laughs> It's just water, Jim. It's almost as if we have two different celebrations, each one being observed by millions of people at the same time. And this has, over the years, brought about a certain level of discomfort to both groups. Many Christians can't help but notice that more and more of the public festivities surrounding Christmas avoid any real reference to its Christian origins. For well over a month now in stores, we may rarely hear a true Christian Christmas carol being played in the stores. Instead, we hear all sorts of what has been called, classified, whether rightly or wrongly, secular Christ Christmas carols, like it's a holy, jolly Christmas, or all sorts of other ones. The holiday season by our culture is promoted as a great time for family, a great time for giving, a great time for seeking peace in our world. It's celebrated as an incredible secular holiday period. And then on the other hand, the non-religious people, the non-Christian people specifically in our culture, can't help but notice that sometimes the older, original meaning of Christmas keeps on, as one writer put it, intruding into Christmas. <laughs> Seriously? Intruding into Christmas through the music of traditional Christian Christmas carols. And as you drive around the region, you'll see a nativity scene here or a nativity scene there. And it's these little injections of the real meaning of Christmas. As Christians, we can be glad to share the truth and virtues of Christmas with a whole society. The secular Christmas is a festival of lights. It's the darkest time of the year, and people celebrate Christmas with lights. It's a time for family gatherings. It's a time for being generous to those closest to us as well as those in greatest of needs. These practices are enriching to everybody, Christian or not. Yes, if you've noticed, Christmas has become somewhat commercialized. Have you noticed that? <laughs> somewhat commercialized. And this didn't just happen. Some of the first secular, quote unquote, secular Christmas carols started being produced in the mid-1800s. And a plethora of them arrived within a hundred years. And by the time of 1965, when this came, a Charlie Brown Christmas, 10% of the Christmas specials on television in that year were Christian-based. And the producers of all the major television networks at the time didn't want to air this special because unless they took out, unless Schultz, Charles Schultz, removed this scene where Charlie Brown asks, doesn't anybody know the real meaning of Christmas? And Linus quotes Luke chapter 2, the Christmas story. But they aired it, and it was a huge success. It's still being played today. The emphasis of light in the darkness comes from the Christian belief that the world's true hope comes shiningly bright from outside of itself. God's Son became one of us. The giving of gifts is a natural response to the greatest gift of all from God, the gift of His Son Jesus to the world. The concern for caring for the needy amongst us recalls that the Son of God was not born into a very wealthy family of an aristocratic nature, powerful family, but instead he was born into a very poor family. A family that spent the first two years or so of his life as a, a young baby and child as refugees in the world. And Jesus' ministry reflected how God
God's heart identifies with the least, the last, the lost, the lonely, the left out, the unlovable in the world. Or that our humanity deems as being such. Jesus came as light because humanity is too spiritually blind to find our own way to God. Jesus became one of us because humanity is too mortal and too spiritually bankrupt to be forgiven and set free from slavery to sin any other way. And every year, our culture seems to become a little bit more distant from the Christian historical roots of Christmas. And yet, and yet, once a year, the culture all around us is more open to the Christian understanding of Christmas. Once a year at Christmas, the people all around in our culture are seeing things a little bit differently. They're a little bit more open to listening and hearing and seeing and understanding and then maybe believing what Christmas is truly all about. Believing the gift of Jesus Christ, God's beloved Son. So don't get upset at secularized Christmas. See it as a good opportunity that the world is open to our same language. We're, we're <coughs> celebrating the greatest gift of all. Thanks be to God for that gift. Amen.